What's going on YouTube? It's the Game Zombie here with a Mortal Kombat X topic video. Now, I just got done reading chapter 9 of the Mortal Kombat X comic and it had some really interesting stuff in it. Now, for everybody that is worried about spoilers, I would go ahead and just stop the video right now because I will be going over some minor spoilers in the comic book, so let's get right into it. First things first, the thing that I'm most excited about, a lot of people have been wondering if Johnny Cage is still around, and right away we see Johnny Cage, and not only is he there, but he's standing next to Sonya. We've already seen Sonya in the comic books a little bit, but this is the first time we've ever even seen Johnny Cage, let alone him around his estranged kid's mom. Now, I don't know how I feel yet about Johnny Cage's look. He looks like he's put on some weight. Uh, he looks a little stockier. Kind of reminds me of uh, how Arnold looks right now, which I'm sure they kind of use for reference. If people don't know, Jean-Claude Van Damme was the original inspiration for the character Johnny Cage. So it makes sense for him to kind of look like one of our modern day washed up older action stars. I'm definitely glad that he has made an appearance in the comic. Pretty sure he'll be in the game playable as will Sonya Blade. Uh, with the recent story reveal trailer it seems like family is a big part of the story and the characters. So I wouldn't be surprised if both Sonya and Johnny will be playable. The other thing I want to talk about is an appearance made by Aaron Black. Aaron Black makes a couple of appearances in this uh, chapter of the comic. Uh, I just like every time I see him because it just reinforces my theory that he will definitely be in the game. I use the word theory lightly because it's pretty much fact. I would be taking on all bets to anybody that thinks that he won't be in the game. It would just be stupid for NetherRealm Studios at this point to not put him in the game as so many people want him in the game. And they just made him look so badass. Now a really interesting piece of information uh, and the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the fact that we see Sub-Zero fighting somebody. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, but his text says, I've already been dead once, never again. So for everybody that may not know, there was two different versions of Sub-Zero. There was the Bai Han version, which was the original and elder Sub-Zero. He died, was resurrected by Quan Chi, and came back as Noob Saibot. And after that, Kuei Lang, his younger brother, assumed the role and responsibilities of Sub-Zero seeking vengeance and trying to find his killer scorpion this is interesting because obviously if he's been dead once that means that this is the by hand version of sub-zero which was noob cybot so what happened to noob cybot was sub-zero miraculously restored by some kind of uh, nether realm magic who knows but i'm sure we'll find out in the story of mortal kombat x Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and as always, subscribe.